Hello and welcome to my unboxing video of a Vampire the Masquerade Heritage. So this is the Kickstarter edition from uh, the game. Um, with the Kickstarter edition we had these coins um, which represent the different clans, uh, vampire clans in the game. So that's it. There is more uh, Kickstarter content uh, but that's already inside uh, the box. So. The Kickstart edition also came with the sleeve. And this is our box. So this is a heritage game. It means you have to put stickers on cards, rename some of the characters and such. So this is the rule book. So I want to point out here in the index, um, you have these exclamation marks. Uh, that means you unlock those uh, cards and stuff um, during the game uh, when you play it. So, like these cards you get at the beginning, these cards you do not get at the beginning. And here is the list of backers. Um, I didn't back the game in the Kickstarter, I was a late pledge. But still got the Kickstarter edition. We have the four envelopes. So you have to put your name down here. And you can store your cards in the envelope. Cards and perhaps other stuff. Here is some artwork. Um, it was set in the Kickstarter campaign. You only got one of these beautifully illustrated kind of posters. But during the pledge manager to set, um, we're just gonna give you all of them, which is great, of course. Then we have some of the uh, sheets where you can uh, track your uh, progress and abilities during the uh, campaign. So the campaign consists of uh, 21 missions, I thought, of, or 21 games. Um, I hope I can download these from somewhere because I really don't like writing on the original print. Um, perhaps I'm going to laminate them, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But I'm going to check for download first. Then we've got our Chronicle uh, booklet. Again, I really hope I can download this from somewhere because you have to um, hold the scores so you can declare a winner at the end of uh, the chapter. That's it. Um, these ones, these tokens, uh, come with the Kickstarter edition. So it's an upgrade from uh, cardboard tokens. As well as these. Um, the reds are points, the yellows are infamy or minus points. Then we have some stickers. So these are the, are the renaming stickers and I'm just gonna show you one. So you can upgrade your cards with uh, different kind of abilities. So these are the abilities you can choose from. There's a lot of them. And this one uh, represents the, all the different clans. So when you recruit a vampire and you upgrade a vampire, you can uh, put a label on him and say, this is one from that clan. When you are going to play the game again, when you made vampires to a, a clan, it's it's not the the same as the original. So you could buy these reset packs. So it contains all the cards needed from the core game as well as the add-ons. The add-ons are here. So one, two, three, um, and it gives you a, a little bit more experience. We've got. I'm just gonna. Take these ones out. I don't know what's in all of the packs, so I can see all the different clan tokens here. Um, some arc token here, 
Um, I don't know what it means. I haven't read the rules completely yet, so these are the missions. So if you look at this one, warning chronicle begins from opposite ends. So I guess it's the purpose. You just open them and you just pull cards from there this way. Um, some people may see there is no or a little room for uh, sleeving but this bundle of cards to sleeve and to fit to all fit in the box I think it's quite impossible but we'll see uh, then we have our different clans so I'm just gonna pull this cardboard stuff out of here it's nicely packed as you can see then we have, this is our player board, it folds in four, um, I think this is not the best decision uh, that has been made because you really got uh, the lines here, so perhaps a printed uh, version of it or something something, some matte maybe would be better in my opinion. These are the war uh, boards. You have to check out the rules so you know how to use them. These are all the clan boxes. So I'm just gonna open one. Yes. And it has just a few cards. And I'm gonna, like, this is a clan leader. already has some attributes so these are the cards you can uh, take I think they are they are in here as well I'm gonna try and open this one just this one yes. so we have we have got the, the clan leader um, which I'm gonna oh and here is another one um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, player aids, I think. Asset effects. And we have uh, the ability cards. So you have to take um, three out of seven, and here three out of seven again. So that's that. I'm gonna put the girl back in front. There is a little margin to sleeve these cards, yet the margin is not the greatest one. But that's that. So I'm just gonna put these aside for the moment. And then we have one, two, three, four, five punch boards. No kind of tokens and abilities. There are also the abilities. I don't know if they're clan related. No, it doesn't seem. And these are all the all the cardboard tokens, but we have the Kickstarter stuff right here. And then we have some um, War Over Europe boards, I guess. Nicely illustrated, and then we have here a bigger box. I hope I can open them. Opening the boxes is not very easy, but hey, it worked. So we have got sleeves, extra sleeves. Uh, they won't fit the box. Too bad. But hey, that's life. And we have got our different characters still on the human side. Um, yeah, I've counted them and they're like um, 44 cards or something like that. There should be 80, but I think um, they are in this box perhaps. 
which I'm going to try to open. Oh no, there are something, some mission type. So I think the, you have some characters you have to unlock during the uh, campaign. So perhaps they're inside of this big deck or somewhere else, I don't know. But that's that. That happens. Um, I'm just going to take the first one and when you are going to turn them into a vampire, um, you just take the other side. You have the clan mark here, an ability here, and you can upgrade uh, this vampire twice. That's how the system works. So these all fit into this box. And I think when you unlock other characters, you can use these leaves because the back is the same. You can use these leaves to uh, to use for the new unlocked characters. And this was my short unboxing of Vampire the Masquerade Heritage. Thank you for watching.